Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you why to remove discus from your site and how to install an awesome alternative. Let's get started. Discus is currently one of the most widely used commenting tools for blogs and other websites, and it's very feature rich, but it has many drawbacks. Firstly, Discus makes hundreds of requests and loads dozens of external scripts, style sheets, and more over the network. This can ruin your page load times and web vitals, and website performance is one of the most important things for crawlers such as Google. On the basic plan, Discus loads ads in line with your comments, and you have to pay a monthly fee of $12 to buy the plus plan and disable ads. Also, by default, Discus replaces each of the links on your website with affiliate links, meaning that each time a visitor clicks a link, Discus makes money. Discus also invades on your user's privacy. It loads many tracking scripts and sells your visitor's data to ad companies to gain revenue. It does this by analyzing what links a visitor clicks, what comments they upvote, and the content of their comments. Using this data, Discus then builds a comprehensive profile of each visitor, which can then be used to target ads. Also, if your audience includes residents of Europe, you should note that Discus still isn't fully GDPR compliant. Now you know why not to use Discus for comments, but is there a good alternative? Yes, there is. Commento is a full-fledged commenting solution that includes pretty much all the same features as Discus, just without these drawbacks. Commento never tracks your visitors and will never display any ads, so it doesn't interrupt the experience of your website. Also, Commento features a clean, simple commenting interface that can be customized via CSS to suit your own website. And all of this comes in a package that's less than 15 kilobytes in total, so it doesn't slow down your site at all. Comento also has many other features, including Google, Twitter, GitLab, and GitHub login, anonymous comments, nested replies, email notifications, markdown formatting, spam detection, and more. The best part is that Comento is open source, meaning that you can look at the code and modify it to your own needs. Now, there are two ways you can use Comento. You can use the hosted cloud version, or you can self-host it on your own server. If you want a quick and easy setup, I recommend you use the hosted cloud version. Using the hosted version is also a great way to support the developer of Pimenta. But if you don't want to pay $10 a month for the cloud version, you can self-host it on your very own server, which is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. There are a few prerequisites you need before installing Pimento. The first thing we'll need is an existing Linux server. If you want a guide for setting up a server, go ahead and watch my next cloud video, which will walk you through exactly how to install Ubuntu server. Another thing you'll need is a reverse proxy server like Nginx. This will allow us to use a subdomain like commento.yoursite.com for our comment server. Finally, we'll need to have Docker and Docker Compose installed to run the Commento Docker image. On the Ubuntu server, you can simply type the following commands to add the repository. First, run sudo apt update. Then, run this command. Next, run this curl command to add Docker's official GPG key. Finally, type this command to add the Docker repository. Now to install Docker and Docker Compose, type sudo apt update, and then sudo apt install docker-ce, docker-ce-cli, containerd.io, and docker-compose. The last thing you'll need is a DNS CNAME record for commento.yoursite.com. To add this record, open up your DNS provider or domain registrar's dashboard in your web browser. From here, add a new CNAME record with the name being the name of the subdomain you want to use and the content being your website's address. In this case, I'm putting commento-test as the name and yeetpc.com as the content. Once we're done adding the DNS record, we have to add an nginx config file for this subdomain. 
To do this, you can get a template config file from the GitHub repo in the description and open it in an editor. From here, replace your subdomain with the subdomain name you added in the DNS record. Replace your site domain with your website's domain name. Replace your server with the IP address of your server. And replace your port with the port you'd like to use for Comento. Make sure the lines with SSL certificate and SSL certificate key have a path to an SSL certificate that's already present on your system, since Nginx won't start with an invalid path. Now, create a new file in the slash Etsy Nginx sites available directory called comento.conf. Next, add the contents of your customized template to this new file. Finally, symlink the config to the sites enabled directory using the command on screen. Reload Nginx with sudo system control reload Nginx for the new configuration to take effect. The next thing we've got to do is to configure SSL on our subdomain. Certbot makes this really quick and easy to do with one single command. If you don't have Certbot installed, simply type sudo apt install python3 certbot nginx. To obtain a certificate for the Comento subdomain, type sudo certbot nginx d comento.yoursite.com. Once this command finishes, type sudo system control restart nginx, and SSL should now be enabled for your subdomain. To install Comento via Docker Compose, create a file called docker-compose.yaml. You can find this template at the Comento GitLab repo, which is linked in the description. There are a few things we have to change in this template though. First, we have to set the Comento origin variable to the URL of your Comento subdomain. In my case, that's going to be https colon slash slash comento testepcom then we have to set Comento port to whichever port you'd like to use. I'm going to set it to port 8080. Then enter the directory your file is located in and type sudo docker-compose up-d. It may take a few minutes for it to pull the containers and start them, but after it's done, you can head to your Comento subdomain and check out your new installation. The first thing you want to do is to sign up for an account on your server. To do this, click sign up and you'll be prompted to enter some information. Fill out your email, full name, and account password. Then click sign up to create your account. Now you can log in with your email and password to access the Comento dashboard. Once you're logged into the dashboard, we can add our first website. So click the button that says New Domain and add the URL and name of your website you want to use Comento on. Now, your first domain is set up. We can embed Comento in our website using these two lines of HTML. Simply copy these lines and paste them into your website where you want Comento to load. You should now see the comments box load when you refresh the page. From here, you can log in and start commenting. You can also access moderator tools, upvote and downvote comments, and pin comments at the top of the thread. There are a few more settings you can change in the Comento dashboard such as enabling anonymous comments, changing how comments are ordered, adding moderators, importing comments from Discus, and more. There are also a few other things you can configure in the backend, including OAuth, SMTP emails, and custom CSS.
Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe for future videos. Also, tell me what you think of Comento in the comments below, and feel free to ask any questions you might have. Make sure you check out my blog, which I'll link in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.